In the past two weeks, I've been trying to understand how RiverPod works in Flutter, and I finally figured it out. Once you get familiar with RiverPod, Redux feels verbose. Once you go RiverPod, you can never go back to Redux. And I really like the color palette of Spotify website, so I told Claude to remake the UI to have a theme. By the way, Claude is really a qualified UI designer in my opinion. I always get inspired by beautiful Parisian designs and colors, and I like to use this Adobe tool to extract theme from the things I see with my eyes. And then you can give the color to Claude and tell him to generate a theme file. Honestly, right now, AI can replace UI designers in the same way Shein replicates designer pieces because Shein's customers don't give a fuck about storytelling or savoir-faire as long as the product looks the same in photos. But of course, AI can't replace real UI designers, just like Shein can't replace original brands because it lacks creativity and strategic design thinking. Anyway, now you can see that the app supports English and simplified Chinese as system language, and you can switch easily. You can delete the textbook which you chose to learn and select a new textbook to start to learn. Here I have some verbs for the demo and once you select it, you can choose the pace to study. And it's taken longer than expected to implement the real learning algorithm because you have to have the learning phase and quiz to test out the user's grasp of knowledge. And learning phase can vary in terms of grammar aspects and formats. So do the quiz. Russian is the hardest language I've ever learned, and I struggled with my classmates. Maybe the pronunciation not so much thanks to my native language Mongolian, but the grammar was a torture for sure, even if there's a lot of similarities between these two languages. For example, the stress pattern was already confusing for us. But then, if you think in Chinese, if the intonation is wrong, the meaning is totally different. So I tried to get the udarenya correct. For the language learning app, I tried to use LLMs to systematically process this, but they just suck at linguistics. Luckily, there is not a lot of irregular stress pattern in Russian, so I just decided to adopt the library and let it cover, let's say, 90% of the words. When I was learning English, I always hated grammar class. I just hated those terms. But now I have to use these terms to describe to the machine what it needs to do. And I want the machine to handle those terms so that users can learn painlessly. So, let's see what I can do and I'll update you about this later in my videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe because I'll also be sharing other insights and thoughts about languages of both machines and humans.